Hey everybody and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we're going to do a quick review of this Rocketeer jacket by Magnoli Clothiers. For those that normally watch this channel, you know that I am not generally a big fan of Magnoli, just based on their price. They make good stuff, and I've always said they make good stuff, but I think their stuff is horribly, horribly overpriced. If you look on their website, this jacket is $595 plus shipping which I think is absolutely ridiculous. I would never, ever pay that for a jacket. However, I got lucky. This was in their uh, clearance section because somebody had got it with custom measurements and then opted not to buy it for whatever the reason. So my super awesome wife bought this for me for my birthday for $275. And I thought that was an excellent deal. Uh, for those that have seen my other video that I did on the Rocketeer jacket, that one was by South Beach Leather. That is a lower end jacket. I think that one was like $185 or something like that. This one I actually like quite a bit better. Number one, the coloring. I don't know if this is going to show up on screen or not. It's but kind of a tan yeah, color. It's a very, very, very accurate to what's in the film. Very um, mild tan color. It's not dark brown. It's not brown. It's kind of showing brown on the video, but it's more of a very soft tan. I mean, it's it's hard to... like. It's a, exactly like what you chocolate see in the milk. movie. It's like chocolate milk. So, um, in the film, depending on the lighting, the color of the jacket changes. And this one is exactly the same way. If you lift so, it up and look in the light, a little bit different lighting, there's some lamp. I think this it's is absolutely more natural. Perfect. I think they nailed the color freaking spot on. Another thing they did right is these uh, cuff straps here, which are on the underside of the jacket, just like they are in the movie. And this buckle is also accurate. Another thing they did right, these buttons. If you look closely at the buttons in the movie, they've got this uh, little ring around them, just like these do, and the color is also spot on on these. Also, this uh, shoulder strap here is also accurate. The stitching on the back is perfect. Let me get a shot of that deer. Mm -hmm. And the way Cliff wears it in the film, you can see the, uh, the little gussets. I think that's what they're called, gussets, right here on the side, which are also accurate to the film. Now, I am a member of several different Rocketeer uh, Facebook pages. And a lot of people say that there are issues with this jacket as far as screen accuracy goes. I have no idea what they are. I think this is actually spot on. So, if somebody wants to point out something that is not accurate... Feel free uh, to. To the, to the what's, what you see in the movie. Yeah, mention it in the comments, please. We, we'd love to know. I don't know what they are. Um, one other thing that you'll see when I put the jacket on is the V at the bottom of the bib. Yeah, it's not straight. Yeah. It's got an angle to it with the yeah, points. Yeah, which is also accurate to the film. Now, the one that I got from South Beach Leather did not have that. It was flat all the way across Most the bottom. Most of them are. Which really bothered me. Supposedly, they have changed that in their design. South Beach Leather has. So, now when you buy them, you do get that V. But the V was pretty important to me because it's that's very prevalent in the film. And I really wanted that on my Rocketeer jacket. On the inside, uh, the lining isn't anything super special. No, it's just regular fabric. Yep, just regular lining. It's not it silk does or have anything. Two inner pockets, one here. It's a bit rough fabric for the lining. Yeah, I agree. It's not very soft I at all. I have seen it's very much rough. better lining yes. in jackets than this one, and it's got a zipper pocket over here. But yeah, I am not really a big fan yeah, of this, this is, lining. This I think is they could have done a better yeah. job. Now, for um, the price, I would have expected a better If you look at lining. the sleeves, yeah, that's nice. they should have done this for the entire jacket. The sleeve lining is very nice. Now, maybe the person that had this custom made requested that. Could have. I don't know why they would. But anyway, that's what I got with, with this jacket. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and try it on and uh, show you what it looks like. Uh, we're going to cut the film for this because it does take a while to button up the bib section. So we'll be right back. Yep. Okay, so this is the jacket now, now that I have it on. Um, Shan Chan wanted to mention something about the buttons. 
they are not metal they are plastic and I figured for this price that they would be metal yeah and this is one of the issues I have with Magnolia I mean they their stuff just seems really really overpriced and yes the buttons look good but for six hundred dollars they should be metal they should be metal they should absolutely should be now the sleeves are perfect I don't know who had this tailored but I mean it's like they 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 made it tailored for me which just happened to work out and he has very special unique measurements so that's kind of yeah, amazing I usually have to have my sleeves tailored because they're about two inches too long for whatever the reason I have short arms so this one I mean I just happened to get like super de duper lucky with this jacket Here's what it looks like from the back. And of course, when you don't want to be the Rocketeer and you just want to be Cliff Secord, you'd have one of the flaps open, like he has in the film. Mm -hmm. Now, I am planning on getting the South Beach leather harness for the Rocket Pack. I'm going to attach it to the one that I've been building, the 3D printed model. I've got a couple of videos of that on my channel as well. And that is supposed to come like up underneath these buttons here. So I'm not quite sure how that's going to work because it's going to have to be strapped like between the buttons. So that may or may not end up being a problem. Um, when I get the harness, I will probably do a review on that as well and just kind of show you how it, how it hooks up to the jacket here. So anyway, uh, that's my review of the Rocketeer jacket by Magnolia. Uh, would I buy this jacket for $600? I can't say that I would. I honestly cannot say that I would. I, For 275 yeah. I think this is a great deal. Yes. I think it looks great. The color is spot on. The leather is very nice. For 275 I feel like it's a bargain. For $600, it is not no, a bargain. I, would I think not. you're a lot better. There, there are two other jackets on the market that are, that are pretty good. The one from South Beach Leather, especially now that they fixed the V, I think that's a good option. And the one from Flesh and Hide. I've heard is also very good and both of those jackets are under two hundred dollars so if you're looking for a bargain rocketeer jacket I would still recommend one of those over this one now the coloring on those is going to be off by a little bit I know because I own the South Beach leather one it's not the same color it doesn't look quite like the one that Cliff wears in the movie like this one does but is it worth the extra four hundred dollars to get that in my opinion no it's not. This is a really nice jacket. I'm glad that I got it. But I, you know, again, I got it for 275, not six. So, anyway, you know, Magnolia is Magnolia. I'm I'm gonna have a love or hate relationship with them probably for the rest of eternity. I I, I stand by the fact that they make good stuff, but it's just too much money, in my opinion. So anyway. There you have it. If you are interested in this jacket, it is on their site, $5.95, and this is basically exactly what you're going to get. So, take that as you will. I hope this video was helpful, and I'll see you in the next one.